Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what is meant by a fuel cell. You should then be able to write half equations for the electrode reactions in the hydrogen fuel cell. And finally you should be able to evaluate the use of hydrogen fuel cells in comparison to rechargeable cells and batteries. And all of this material is for triple chemistry students only. In the last video we looked at how chemical cells and batteries work. They use a chemical reaction to produce electricity. However, in cells and batteries, eventually the reactants are used up and the electricity stops. In this video, we're looking at a different kind of cell called a fuel cell. These also generate electricity, but in a different way. So let's take a look. I'm showing you a very simplified diagram of a fuel cell here. In a fuel cell, we react a fuel such as hydrogen with either pure oxygen or air. Inside the fuel cell, a chemical reaction takes place, producing an electric current. For the hydrogen fuel cell, the only waste product is water. So here are the hydrogen and the oxygen, and here is the waste product, water. Now, if you're doing the higher tier, then you need to be able to write half equations for the reactions at the negative and the positive electrodes. So let's look at these now. At the negative electrode, hydrogen molecules split into hydrogen ions and electrons. Here's the half equation for the negative electrode. 2H2 forms 4H plus and 4 electrons. These electrons now pass through the wire and that's our electrical current. At the positive electrode, oxygen molecules now combine with the electrons and the hydrogen ions produced at the negative electrode. Here's the equation for the positive electrode. O2 plus 4H plus plus 4 electrons forms water. Now essentially what's happening in the hydrogen fuel cell is that hydrogen is combining with oxygen. In other words, the hydrogen is being oxidized. So I'm showing you the overall equation for the hydrogen fuel cell here. As you can see, hydrogen fuel cells use two simple gases, hydrogen and oxygen, to produce electricity. And the only waste product is water. So the question is, what are the advantages and disadvantages of hydrogen fuel cells compared to rechargeable batteries? We're going to look at that now. The main advantage is that hydrogen fuel cells will produce electricity for as long as you provide hydrogen, whereas rechargeable batteries run out and need to be recharged. Secondly, hydrogen fuel cells do not get less efficient the longer they run. However, rechargeable batteries can store less electricity the more charging cycles they go through, and eventually they need to be replaced. Hydrogen fuel cells can also be a source of drinking water, for example for astronauts on spacecraft. There are some problems with hydrogen fuel cells. One problem is that hydrogen fuel cells run on hydrogen, which is an explosive gas, and it's very difficult to store safely. No dangerous fuels are required with rechargeable batteries. However, that said, some types of rechargeable batteries can catch fire if they're not manufactured correctly. Hydrogen fuel cells produce a relatively low potential difference or voltage, so several are needed together. However, rechargeable batteries can produce a greater potential difference than a hydrogen fuel cell. Remember, you'll find plenty more questions on fuel cells in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by a fuel cell. You should then be able to write half equations for the electrode reactions in the hydrogen fuel cell. And finally, you should be able to evaluate the use of hydrogen fuel cells in comparison to rechargeable cells and batteries.